I was looking at my statistics the other day and then I realised only 1.2% of people are subscribed to me so please if you're not subscribed please subscribe and like the video it helps me out a lot and it means a lot to me thank you very much and please enjoy the video Hello YouTube Kipper 4472 here and today we are here with Soda Biographies episode 1 Thomas so please enjoy in 1914, Thomas was built at Brighton Works in England, where he was the station shunter at Brighton, and he mostly stayed out of view. In 1915, during the war efforts, he found himself located to Sodor and was helping building the new main line on the North Western Railway. He arrived in his LBSC London, Brighton and South Coast Railway livery. He arrived alongside another engine brought in from the Furness Railway called Edward. Once the new main line was completed, he stayed at Vickerstown to be the station pilot. In 1920, Thomas was brought by the fact director who ran the North Western Railway and he was painted in NWR blue and given the number one as he was the railway's first engine. Thomas found it fun to annoy a big express engine called Gordon and in revenge, Gordon pulled Thomas along behind his express one run one day. In 1924, Thomas found being a station pilot boring and he longed to see the world. He struck a deal with Edward that Thomas could take Edward's goods train to Wellsworth and Edward was shunt in the yard for the day. Near Wellsworth, Thomas had some difficulty stopping the train, but he did get the train there. Once there, he stayed there by order of the fat director to work with Edward. Thomas's relocation didn't come out of nowhere, however. The North Western and the LMS struck a deal and the North Western was allowed to run services to Bower in Furness, and the LMS could run their services to the harbour at Normandy. And the railway's official terminus moved to the other end of the line at Tidmouth. A while later in 1925, the railway had five engines at this point and a few on loan. And the railway's fifth engine, James, rushed through Wellsworth with a goods train and then crashed on a bend not long later. Thomas reacted quickly with the breakdown train and quickly in James's smooth recovery. This apparently proves him a really useful engine to the fat director and the fat director quickly moves him onto the line between Natford and Farquhar as this line was recently extended from Ellsbridge to Farquhar. The line had been previously run by coffee pot engines but the work with the extension and a new quarry at Farquhar was too much for the coffee pot engines and they became scrapped. Nothing happens after that much for the next few years, but in 1947 it snowed on soda and Thomas not wanting to wear his snowplow as he said it was uncomfortable. He purposely damaged it and then got stuck in a snowdrift for not wearing it. He had to get pulled out by a tractor with caterpillar tracks called Terence. In 1948, Thomas meets a bus called Bertie and they race. They have liked to race ever since. In 1951, Thomas was pulling some trucks back from the quarry at Farquhar along the tramway when they were stopped by a policeman who said they needed cover wheels to run along the tramway, so a tram engine would have been needed. Earlier in the year, the fat controller, who once was the fat director but became a controller when British Railways was formed and the North Western Railway became the North Western Sector of BR and the fat director became the controller of this section. He visited a tram engine on holiday whose line was closing down. The tram engine's name was Toby. The fat controller bought Toby and Toby arrived soon after to work on Thomas's branch line. He became the NWR's seventh official engine. In the late winter of 1951, there was a landslide on Thomas's branch line, and this was seen by a lady called Mrs. Kindly who lived near the railway. She flagged Thomas down using and she flagged Thomas down using a red blanket from her bedside window as she was sick and bedridden. She was later thanked by the fat controller on Christmas Day. In the summer of 1952, Thomas was shunting at a mine in Torrey Wreck. 
and was being careless and ignored a safety sign uh, sign and then fell down a mine. He had to be rescued by the NWR's express engine number four, Gordon. In 1953, the newly crowned Queen Elizabeth II makes a tour of Britain's railways and Thomas got the pride job of shunting the coaches the Queen would visit in. In 1955, the old harbour reopened on Thomas's branch line and Percy, the NWR's sixth engine and the pilot of Tidmouth, is relocated there with help to help with its reconstruction. After Percy provides to be a useful source at the harbour, he is permanently relocated there to work on Thomas's branch line. The junction for the station to Thomas's branch line at Natford is moved as the old line for the harbour is now using it. In 1956, the books published for the, about the North Western Railway called the Railway Series is very successful and the Fat Controller learns of this and takes his eight famous engines to Euston Station for the gala. In 1960, Thompson House starts moving without a driver in the morning and he crashes into a station master's house. Being repaired, the Fat Controller brings on a new diesel rail car called Daisy to, in, to do Thomas's work. After Thomas comes back, the Fat Controller keeps Daisy on and she becomes the first diesel on the railway. When Thomas came back, he had an updated shape with a now flat running board. In 1964, the Farquhar Quarry buys its own diesel to do the shunting there. The diesel is called Mavis. Not, not long after, Percy crashes into a lime cart and gets covered in it. He then uses his bright white appearance to scare Thomas, pretending to be a ghost. In 1979, Gordon goes for repairs at Craven's Gate and Thomas, along with Duck and Percy, have to triple head the Express. In 1988, the Ells Bridge needs renovation and the Fat Controller makes a weight limit to cross the bridge. Thomas is too heavy to cross the bridge and goes to work on Edward's branch line where he meets Bill and Ben, the China clay pit engines, for the first time. The next year, Thomas returns to his branch line. In 1990, Thomas is invited to an event in York at the National Railway Museum. He leaves under his own power and meets a few other famous engines there. In 1991, Thomas returns to his branch line. In 2007, Thomas finds an old coach in the bushes at Elbsbridge. She is restored and pulled with to by Toby with Henry Etta. In 2011, Thomas attends a ceremony at Tidmouth where a statue is unveiled of Wilbur Audrey, the author of the Railway series. And that brings us to present day. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that, the first episode. And if you want to see some more... Um, railway series, Thomas Tank Engine stuff. Um, there are some things on the screen right now, and I really hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe, it means a lot to me. And thanks for watching. See you in the next soda biography or video, hopefully. Goodbye.